One way in which a gentleman is different from an ordinary man is that he is elegant. Elegance is an interesting characteristic, and it's not something that many men aspire to today. The term elegance is just as often used to describe a woman as it is a man. In fact, elegance can be used to describe anything from a piece of music to a building to a teacup. In my opinion, striving to be elegant is one of the noblest things you can do as a man. It's what's missing from modern society's idea of masculinity. However, becoming truly elegant is not a quick process. There are multiple facets to elegance, from your aesthetics, to your personality, to your lifestyle. In this video, I'm going to break down these three pillars of elegance so that you can implement them and craft and curate the ideal lifestyle for you. We're going to begin with the most immediate way you can transform yourself, which is with your presentation. An elegant man has developed strong tastes in style, and he knows the value of looking his best. He looks put together at all times, and practices good hygiene and grooming habits. Certain clothes particularly appeal to the elegant man. The blazer, dress pants and dress shirts, leather shoes, suits, and classic accessories like ties and pocket squares. However, you can also dress elegantly while being casual in a polo shirt, a pair of dark jeans and boots. A gentleman can wear whatever he finds to be most tasteful and flattering for him. And of course, what is appropriate for the day ahead. But elegance requires putting thought into what you wear and making intentional choices. You see, elegance is just as much about what you don't wear as what you do wear. The elegant gentleman is never seen wearing anything that he's not proud of. That means no sweatpants in the grocery store, no hoodies when grabbing coffee. The elegant man asks himself this before leaving the house. If I were to be seen by someone that I know, or someone that I might want to know while looking like this, would I be happy with that? Would I be confident? In fact, an elegant man even dresses well at home because he has self-respect. Elegance also avoids fashions and wearing garish, flamboyant items. Because the aim is not to scream for attention, but silently command it. For example, it's much more elegant to wear a white Oxford shirt and a navy blazer than an all-over Versace print suit. Elegance exists in what Cary Grant described as the middle of fashion. That means nothing too baggy and nothing that fits too skinny. Instead, build a wardrobe with a timeless fit that forms a flattering silhouette over your body. When curating his closet, the elegant man buys the best he can afford and takes great care and pride of the pieces that he does own. He treats them with love and wears them for years and years. Even if you don't have much money, you can still be elegant by buying secondhand and shopping selectively. And it's much more elegant to own a small closet of high quality staple pieces than a pile of junk. So the gentleman doesn't see buying clothes as an act of consumerism. Rather, it's an art form that requires patience, discipline, and taste. One of the biggest differences between modern ideas of a gentleman and an elegant man is his lifestyle. An elegant man is well-educated and cultured, always seeking to expand his horizons and feed his mind. The elegant gentleman appreciates music, art, wine, and fine dining. Perhaps he's not an expert in all of these areas, but he has one or two cultured interests about which he is incredibly knowledgeable. He is sure to taste the pleasures in life and has fulfilling hobbies and pastimes to create a life of sophistication. Your hobbies can really be whatever you want them to be, but some examples of elegant hobbies include dancing, playing a musical instrument, speaking a foreign language, and sports such as golf, tennis, and polo. Now, yes, of course, you can be a gentleman if you don't know a thing about art or culture, you work a blue collar job, and you just like to shoot some pool and drink bud at the end of the day. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But the lifestyle of an elegant gentleman is more of an exploration. He aims to make his world bigger 
and more nuanced. He travels, seeks out new cultures, and is thirsty for new experiences. The elegant man also appreciates the finer things in life. He wishes to be surrounded by beauty and encounter beautiful people. That doesn't always mean spending a lot of money, but it does mean seeking out luxury and going to upscale places. For example, if you want to have a coffee, you could go to Starbucks, but your chances of having an elegant experience are basically zero. However, if you pay just $2 more, you can have that coffee in the lobby of a five-star hotel and imbibe the atmosphere of sophistication. Living this lifestyle might mean going out for fewer, high-quality meals at impressive restaurants rather than eating fast food all the time, because elegance takes the quality of quantity approach to life. But a gentleman finds this rewarding and savors the pleasures that he rewards himself. His appreciation is vast, and his appetite for knowledge and novelty is never-ending. One of the few regrets of an elegant man is that he will never live long enough to taste all that life has to offer. Perhaps the most important trait of elegance is your personality, the way you think, speak, move, and feel. The elegant man has an air about him that people can't quite put their finger on, but they find highly appealing in a kind of old movie star type of way. A huge part of elegance is having confidence. The elegant man feels comfortable everywhere, looks people in the eye, and holds his head up high. He also speaks confidently. His sentences are coherent, he enunciates every word clearly, and he has a voice that is charming and pleasant to listen to. The elegant man has savoir faire, leaving his partners in conversation hanging on to his every word. If you want to learn more about this, check out the video I made on how to speak like a gentleman. The elegant man is also incredibly chivalrous and well-mannered in his day-to-day -day behaviors. He holds doors open for people, does small favors and random acts of kindness. The elegant man does not make a fuss when things go wrong, rather he deals with situations calmly. You see, elegance is dignified and uncomplaining. There is a certain stoicism to elegance. Elegance is like a statue. The elegant man is not easily offended. He can accept jokes, criticism, and humor. Even when provoked, a gentleman remains calm and in control of his emotions. It's more elegant to walk away or resolve things with words than degrading yourself to shouting matches or physical fights. When it comes to his own remarks, the elegant man is funny, witty, and amusing. It's elegant to be relaxed and lighthearted, to make others laugh and not take life seriously at all times. An elegant man also has different body language and posture to an ordinary man. The way he walks, sits, and moves his hands are all congruent with his style. His refinement echoes through every bone of his body. He moves freely, but slowly, is comfortable taking up space, but never intrusive. Gentlemen, if you are watching this video, it's likely that you are an elegant man, or at least you aspire to become one. I hope the ideas in this video resonated with you. This is one of those videos that I wanted to make simply because I didn't see anybody else talking about this topic. Elegance is a major antidote to the hyper-aggressive, meathead forms of masculinity that we see today. For a fine example of elegance, I highly encourage you to take some time and watch some of the movies of Cary Grant. You will see the way he talks, moves, and dresses create an image of masculine sophistication that is still so attractive today. And gentlemen, let me know in the comments, is there a modern man whom you think embodies masculine elegance today? I always like hearing about your role models, and perhaps they will inspire me for a future video. If you are on your journey to become a gentleman, I highly encourage you to check out my video on how to speak like a gentleman. In this one, I outline seven characteristics of well-spoken men like Benedict Cumberbatch, Roger Moore, and Douglas Murray. I hope you enjoy that one. Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.